back is so bad. That's the ice cream van. Oh my God, what an idiot. The spaghetti. Absolute idiot. Gorgeous. Hello everyone, Andy here and welcome back to the channel. I am happy to do another mod video on the car and this time it's this awesomely painted rocker cover or valve cover from MK Customs which has been beautifully painted in Subaru gold and this is massively going to enhance the look of the engine bay. Right, let's dive into the video. So the first thing I did was to remove the old gaskets that were still in the painted rocker cover. I then used some brake cleaner and I used a flathead screwdriver on a rag to get right in there, right into the crevices and make sure I give it a really good clean before I look to fit the new gaskets later in the video. I then followed with a bit of all-purpose cleaner and made sure to give it a really good scrub and a rinse. Now let's get on with removing the old cover. Just to all remember what it looked like beforehand with the plain black rocker cover and hopefully I can get rid of these. Uh, there's another one back there and I might actually even be able to get rid of that as well just to neaten up the look of it. So actually I'm just thinking I can probably just move these out of the way so I don't actually have to disconnect them. So now I need to remove the bolts. So they seem to be eight mil. I'm having to lean on here because my back is so bad. Gosh, these were not very tight at all, actually. So those were all eight mil. Now this one in the back corner seems to be a 10. This one's 10. Funnily enough, I've just done all the nuts and bolts apart from, see if I can get the camera to show it, this one here. I um, I didn't have anything long enough to be able to get down to the eight mil bolt just because that sort of is about, I don't know, it's about one and a half inches high. So luckily I had to, um, or not luckily, but annoyingly, I had to then tighten up all the bolts again and then I went down to my local garage and they actually did it for me because I went to a builder's merchant to go and get priced up for one of them and an adapter and it came out something like 25, 26 quid. I said, I'm not going to pay that much just to undo one bolt. So I ran down to the garage in New Mills and uh, yeah, thankfully, uh, and really appreciate they just literally undid it for me. All right, so I've done the majority of them. I've just got this one left for the sensor and this one here that's the ice cream van it looks like all the screws are out that need to be out no joke I saw something that said give this a few taps to try and sort of loosen it a little bit So now the plan is to try and get some leverage and oh, oh, I can feel it moving. Okay. Let's go a bit further back here. Oh, I've still got a bolt in the back. Oh my God, what an idiot. Yes, it is off. Now that actually looks pretty clean actually. How cool is that seen inside? So what I'm gonna do now is use a bit of brake cleaner and I'm gonna wipe along all the edge that's gonna be resealed with the new gaskets. So all this inside, but I'll wipe from the inside out because um, I definitely don't wanna be getting anything uh, on the inside of the engine. Just to show you that's what the edge of it looks like there. But then as you can see over to the right where I've been cleaning it, that's all looking quite nice now. But over here, again that side I'm yet to do. And 
two little areas that I know um, when I was looking up on replacing gaskets it says you need to make sure you clean that so I'm going to put a rag behind it and get that off and then the same on this side here you got to make sure that you um, scrape that little bit of old sealant off now see if I can cut might have to snap the blade, one of the blades off and try and do it. Basically, if you can see that in my hand there. I'm gonna do the same over here. Just tuck that in there. Again, if I just show you my hand, that's what the extra bit of sealant looks like. So that looks clean. Again, I'll just wipe that now. I'm going to do is now just cover this up with some magazine, close the lid just to keep it all nice and safe. Right, now we've um, got this all nice and clean, what I'm going to do now is fit the new gasket and what I'll do, this is an official Ford one, if you want to obviously, you know, screen grab or whatever this then uh, feel free to, but also I will put um, any information, I'll put a screenshot up now which actually does show uh, the part number for this. I would just like to now thank Tom Irvin on Instagram. He helped source and posted out to me this original Ford gasket. This is actually quite a satisfying job. And then we've got um, these two. I don't think there's any specific way that these go around. It's like when you get a jigsaw piece that just slots in perfectly that you found. I don't know, it's just, I'm probably talking rubbish here, but you know what I mean, like it's just, yeah, it's a nice little satisfying job to do actually. Okay, now this one looks like a massive piece of spaghetti, um, but what I can tell, you've got these little grooves and you can see that obviously the nut, the bolt area, the eyelet on the rocker cover would be going there, so basically, Here's the outside and here's the inside. But what you've got to find, I've just found it. So you've got, again, if you look towards the top of the screen, hopefully you can see this. There's these like quite thick areas on the gasket and there should be two of these and these will be going where the sealant went. So there should be two of these. So there's one there, right, and then there's one there. So I know that that is gonna go in there. And that's it, just start feeding it all the way around. What's really nice to know when sort of I'm doing this job is not just the fact that obviously the engine bay will improve, it's gonna help to the end goal of having a really nice engine bay for car shows and just for peace of mind, photography and all that kind of stuff, you know, for how the car I want. But also the fact that, you know, I've cleaned and got a whole new gasket so it's like a little it's like a little service job that's getting done to the car you know it's just a little bit of extra maintenance knowing that i've got something new and fresh and clean right that is all in nice and snug i'll do one last press before it does go on the engine and before it does go back on the car what i was going to do is i'm just going to use a bit of this adbl um ceramic sort of spray just give it a little bit of protection with what I've got left in this bottle. Just I'm gonna saturate the thing. Should just give it a bit of protection, keep the dirt off for a while. Whilst I'm buffing this, which has been beautifully painted by MK Customs, link to them below. You'll know if you've been following my channel. I have a big love for his work. I think it's really good quality, does nice custom stuff. So definitely go and check him out. But something that I forgot to mention towards the beginning of the video and I'm going to have to show sort of now is I actually did have a go at trying to paint one myself. So I bought a rocker cover back when I did the brake calipers, believe it or not, which was a hell of a long time ago. As a DIY attempt, it started off by coming out all right. But then the issue I had 
was the place that I left it after I'd done the 2K lacquer, loads of bits of crap and floors had come out afterwards. So basically I got loads of shit in the paint, in the lacquer, and yeah, it, it didn't look the best. So, you know, I, I wasted loads of money at the time, I was just like, no, nah, I'm not spending more money and doing it again or sanding it all down and all that kind of stuff. And eventually, yeah, I got back in contact with MK Customs, um, who has now been able to sort me out with this. Just look at the finish on that before it goes on the car. It is so, so nice. And in the sun, it pops. It's got this nice sparkle. It's actually called, for those of you uh, wondering, it's called, or it is, Subaru Gold. So... That is the gold that I've gone for, and eventually I'm going to get some other bits and bobs done for the engine bay eventually, um, which will be in the same gold, so it'll all match. So the plan is, I went ahead um, and bought all these new bolts, these are Allen key sort of ones, and I've got some nice washers as well from CEUK. So, I will put in the description, just to make sure I get it right, the types of bolts that you do need. And these extended ones will be going for, if you can see, you've got areas like this. So some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger. And then I think these ones are 35mm and then one tiny little one, which I think might well go in there. But what I want to try and do is I wouldn't mind just doing a little test fit. Now, you might have noticed that there is a ring missing. I'm going to take it from my existing one. That should look pretty cool when it's done. For the sensor, that is a 15 mil. Then for the 30 mils, you're gonna need six of them. And for the 50 mils, you're gonna need eight of those. So hopefully this will help any of you now looking to get the same thing, get down to your builder's merchant or get on eBay. You know, you can order these sizes and that way you've got the correct ones and the correct amount. This is the next day now. So I've got the old one off the original uh, car, cleaned it up. Uh, and my plan is I've got, I think, a couple, like that one's loose, that one's loose, and that one. The rest of them are all nice and tight. It's just because these ones don't have, you can see, these little metal rings. I am going to look at getting something and just giving them, giving them a hammer and see if I can get the little rings out and then try and see if I can press them into the new one. I think the best way is to go from the underside There we go. Right, I'll do the rest off camera. It's all ready now basically to go on and actually kind of just take this moment to just appreciate how good this thing looks from MK Customs. And now it's complemented with these really nice stainless steel um, countersunk washers and the black CEUK washers. Just looks so good. I've also now attached on the little oil breather hose. I've just threaded all the screws through like a few, less than five mil, just a few mil. So next what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of this, hopefully the camera picks it up. There's only two little spots that I've read that you just need to make sure you get it on. Just there. And then again here. Right. Actually, one thing before I do fit it is I just wanted to get rid of this ugly thing at the back. It's 13 mil. That's a big old bolt. But yeah, don't actually need that. Just makes it look a bit cleaner. This has now been left for an hour or so. And the reason for that is, you can actually see a little bit of it there, the sealant. You're supposed to have it so it's tight, but not torqued. My brother-in-law, who's a mechanic, actually came. And he came at a good time because I could have knackered up the threads uh, on the top of the engine. Because when, because I'm using these type of stainless steel bolts compared to the original ones. The original ones have like a little chamfered, tapered end. So when it goes in, there's a little bit of wiggle room. And I didn't realise that when I was doing this back left one, at the time, I was tightening it and a little, and I basically was just about to start knackering the thread. Uh, so what I did is took it all off. Uh, you know, when I showed you before how the ends of the the new bolts were sticking out five mil, don't do that. 
um, have them all flush, get it into place, and then just start doing each one a little bit by little bit. And you had to sort of, you know, make sure you moved the rocker cover around a little bit just to make sure that everything went in. Uh, and it's it's all looking good. Let's have a zoom in. It's looking pretty tight there, nice and flush. There might be an ever so slight little gap um, with the new gasket. Now, if you can see these new bolts that I bought, they're about five mil, sort of three to five mil a bit too long. So as you can see, they're sticking out the bottom. So what I'm gonna do now is anyway, I'm gonna um, put the camera down, I'm gonna torque these, make sure they are at 10 Newton meters, do all of them in the pattern it suggests. Um, again, I'll pop it up on screen, the uh, one, two, three, etc. that you're supposed to torque them up. Um, I'll get the leads back in, um, plug in the sensor. Uh, I'm gonna let the car run, maybe for sort of 10, 15 minutes or so and just make sure that no oil is actually leaking. Oh, just before I was going to end the video and do a summary, everyone, I was a right idiot. And I think, as you can see here, uh, basically it's happened in a few places, but when I was tightening up with the uh, torque wrench, I kept tightening and tightening and tightening, and it never clicked. And to be honest, I think the reason is, is I over-tightened them, uh, didn't have it set correctly, like an absolute idiot, and I squashed the, basically the paint, there are some areas which that one's come off all right. I think that one's all right. That one had done the same and actually slightly cracked the paint, as you can see there. The ones at the back just slightly cracked the paint. A couple have come off, not too bad. But yeah, basically it was an absolute idiot. Again, you can see that one. So what I've had to do is I've put a bit of lacquer. I've just done a little bit of clear lacquer and I've left a few of these off, like that one, uh, that one at the front, and that one. So I'm just going to let the clear lacquer dry before re tighten these. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hand tighten them. And I think that's going to be enough because it's supposed to only be 10 Newton meters. And like an idiot, I reckon I've done between 20 and 30. So I really apologize to MK Customs for the fact that damage is extremely nice work that he's done on this. But um, I did speak to him, um, he's saying it'll be all right, it shouldn't sort of split further than where I've um, damaged it. But you know, on the face of it, you won't really see this. It's just me, you know, no one's gonna get in there like this and have a look at where the washers are right at the back and right at the back of the engine there and notice that, you know, the, the best thing about this is the actual, you know, finish when you look at it from this, it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's in, all tightened up. And I am, I am really, really happy. I am so happy with the uh, outcome of this and the job that MK Customs, Mark MK Customs has done for me. It, um, it's something that I wanted to get done on the car for such a long time. And as I did say, I think I showed at the beginning of the video um, that you know I did try and paint one of these myself at the very beginning, but it just didn't quite turn out. So you know um, MK Customs by now. I've used him a few times on the car and absolutely love his work. Now, the match is actually not too bad against some of the other gold, but if you can see, the old gold that I used is slightly more orangey, but ignore that because the thing is, I'm going to be getting the paint mods caps. So, that cap, that cap, that one, it's like a cover actually, the dipstick. Uh, and the washer as well. They're all going to get done in that same gold at some point. I probably will get that repainted as well because I did do that myself and it wasn't bad and actually it's, you know, done the test of time. Could do with a bit of a, could probably do with taking it off maybe before like the summer, like show season, take it off, I might give it a little scuff down and repaint it. 
but um, yeah, ideally get that the same colour. Now the strut brace is also gold, and as a whole I do love it, but my plan is, as you know, I've got the Fusion Fabrications Inlet, I was thinking I might get that painted either on its own or along with the strut brace, not sure yet, but in the new colour that the car is going to be going in. As you know, when I did say, or I think you've seen on my Instagram posts and whatnot, I am keeping the gold. I'm not getting rid of the gold completely because I have got the fogs and I've got the calipers as well. But um, with this new gold under the engine bay, I want that to be complemented by just the caps, possibly the throttle body, but yeah, the new inlet and I think the strut brace, just to sort of tie in a bit of the external paint colour to the intern uh, into the engine bay, I think will just be a nice touch. But yeah, what do you think? I absolutely love it. And it to be so nice and clean, and I know I've given it a bit of protection as well, is awesome. Yes, as I did show, if I zoom the camera in, you know, I know it's probably not the best, but I'm just being totally honest, there's a couple of little flaws, like on that one. Uh, this front corner one here is a little bit, and sort of down, down the side at the back. Camera's not quite focusing, but yeah. Apart from that, it is perfect, absolutely love it. And also, what I think is now looking really smart with the engine bay is, is by this being painted, but by the fact that I did the wire tuck, massively helps, because I think if you didn't do the wire tuck and you did your rocker cover, it would just, like, it would just wouldn't make sense, it would just wouldn't look good, because it looks so messy. But by having the nice engine, like kind of rectangular, just full block of color, with the exposed leads, I think looks so nice. And having the new washers, these nice new washers with the stainless steel bolts, you know, it's just such a nice little touch. They're actually in there as well, if you can see, and the one in there, and obviously all around the back as well, you get a little glimpse there of the heat wrap manifold. Not a lot of the uh, videos that I show actually show that, but yeah, it is. And um, yeah, you know, once I've got the new inlet as well, it'll have a much cleaner look than the standard inlet. But yeah, if you want to look at um, doing the wire tuck, um, the way I've done it, where you don't have to jack the car up or anything, and if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, I'll pop a link into the top right description right now, and you can go ahead and watch that wire tuck. Get yourself a few hours, give yourself a, a good afternoon, I'd say, um, and it's got everything in there, everything you need to buy, and as I said, you don't have to jack the car up or anything like that with the way I did it, and um, I think it looks smart with um, having all the wires tucked away uh, neatly. So like when you stand back now, that engine bay is starting to look mint. I absolutely love it. It is so nice. I feel like now I can lift the bonnet up, be a bit more proud. Um, you know, I've got something there that's you know quite unique. Obviously, quite a lot of people do do it, but the majority obviously don't. So I think having something like the painted rocker cover or valve cover, whatever you want to call it, is just a really nice touch and something that I think show cars sort of need is a really nice engine bay. I have obviously, as you can probably tell, everything's had a really nice clean. So yeah, it's properly smart. A lot of Instagram pictures are probably going to be going your way, MK Customs. And um, yeah, if you're interested then um, you know, get in touch with him, ask him uh, for a price maybe on what you're looking to have done, whether or not you're able to send him one of these or maybe he'll have to source one, obviously that's going to depend, the, uh, that's going to obviously reflect in the price, but yeah, you know, as you can see, just look at the quality of his work, just look at it, it is so shiny and glossy, it is so, so nice, just look at that, it is so, so, so good absolutely love it so big thanks again for uh, getting me one of these uh, painted absolutely love it so now can't wait mark I'm sure you watch this video to get the caps done and the dipstick uh, and that washer one done next because I think that'll just complement so much more nicely now with the new gold color so I'll leave the video there everyone hope you uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the fact that I did actually fit this myself and you know I've got all the bits and bobs uh, in the description for the you know the washers, the bolts, the head gasket that you need in order to do this. Otherwise, it's just a few tools. Um, oh, and the sealant as well. So I'll put a link into the description for everything that you need. So basically, you can use this as a tutorial and uh, get it done yourself. So thanks all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.